Hey guys! Some of you may know me for my custom head unit projects that I've done on my Mercedes, however I am working on a huge project for my university degree related to car hacking. This project will hopefully give people far more control over diagnosing their own vehicles, essentially it is an open source diagnostic suite for all vehicles, with some car hacking related functions. As part of this project, I wanted to create an open source diagnostic adapter that can be used with multiple diagnostic applications, including OEM ones such as Zentry by Mercedes. Machina were kind enough to provide me with one of their M2 modules to test with, so here is a quick demo of the adapter working with Daimler's Vidimo software to unlock the hidden agility drive mode on my A7 22.6 gearbox. I'll leave a link to the source code of the driver as well as a link to Machina's store page for the M2 if you want to try this out for yourself. Currently my car only has three drive modes, Comfort, Sport and Manual. Let's change that. To begin with, I simply took the M2 module and plugged it into the ODB2 port of my car. The red light on the module denotes that it's ready to start communicating with the PC. Firstly, the blank screen on the right here is simply a log file viewer for my adapter so I can see what it's doing. Once Vidimo is ready, I tell it to open egs52.cbf, which is the CBF file for this gearbox. Then I have to change the communication settings to use CAN bus rather than K-Line, since my driver currently doesn't support K-Line as it's still a very early beta. Once Vidimo has established communication with the ECU, I run the security access function to gain write access to the ECU's EEPROM. After that, I go to the SCN coding section in Vidimo and read the SCN coding string from the ECU. I then go to my friend Will's website, I'll leave a link for that in the description and paste my SE encoding string there, and then select that I want the agility mode enabled. Then I simply copy the modified string back into Vidimo and press ECU coding to apply the new string. Now here I thought the program had crashed and had a mild panic, but my driver log showed that it was still doing something to the ECU, so I waited patiently. Finally, success! It says the coding is complete, let's see if it worked. Alright, so here you can see I've got comfort, agility, manual, and sport. So yeah, this definitely worked. I'll do a driving impressions video at some other point in the future when I've got time, because apparently it is meant to be quite a bit more aggressive to sport mode, so I'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.